Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Actually, it is very easy to transfer photos directly from your iPhone to your USB flash drive using a Lightning or USB-C to USB camera adapter. But if you don't have one, you can connect your iPhone to your PC instead and try some workarounds. In this video, I will recommend 4 easy steps to transfer photos from your iPhone to your USB stick on your Windows 11 computer. Let's go! In case you don't have an adapter on hand, you have a no-install alternative that lets you transfer files over the web. This works best if you're transferring fewer than 100 images. Snapdrop is a free, open-source, secure online file transfer service that you can access at snapdrop.net. Before you start transferring, configure your browser's download location so that you can receive files and save them directly to your external storage. For this video, I use the Chrome browser. If you're using another, you can still follow the next steps as the browser settings tend to be similar. Click on the three-dot menu at the top right and go to Settings. Open the Downloads Configuration panel and change the destination folder to your external device. After setting up your computer's web browser, get your iPhone ready and go to snapdrop.net. Remember, your computer and iPhone must be on the same Wi-Fi network. Next, tap your computer's device alias and go to Photo Library. Select all the files you want to transfer and click Add to confirm. On your computer, wait for the Receive dialog box and click Save for each file to download it directly to your external storage device. Using iCloud Photos is another way to transfer your files online. First, make sure iCloud Photos is activated on your iPhone so your files are synced to the cloud. Open Settings and browse to Photos. Make sure iCloud Photos is enabled and set Optimize iPhone Storage to get the full resolution version of your images from iCloud. Once you have verified that your photos are synced to the cloud, open your browser on your computer and sign in with your Apple ID at iCloud.com slash photos. When the dashboard loads, select all the files you want to transfer and click the download button at the top right of the menu bar. Since the download location has been changed to your external storage, the photos should automatically be saved there. By default, multiple downloaded files are compressed, so be sure to navigate to your external device folder and extract them. For a more interactive interface to copy your photos from your iPhone to your external drive, you can use the Windows Photos application. Click the Windows key and search for Photos. At this point, both your iPhone and the external storage device must already be connected. First, add your external device folder to the program so you can directly transfer and save photos there. In the left sidebar panel, right-click Folders, hit Add Folder and select your external device. After adding the folder, click on your iPhone from the external devices menu. Note that all photos and videos stored in your gallery will appear here, provided they are also stored locally on your device, not just in the cloud. To choose your photos, you can selectively click each file, or simply check Select All to copy them all together. Next, click Add Items. Choose the external device folder you added earlier and confirm the import to transfer your selected photos. Since Apple doesn't necessarily make it easy to transfer photos to external storage, the most convenient option is to use a third-party tool that lets you transfer your files easily in a single window. Find the link to the tool I personally use below. To try it, download and run the software after installation. Then connect your iPhone to your computer using an original or an MFI certified cable. 
When prompted, click the Trust button and enter your device's passcode to confirm the connection. On the dashboard, click Backup Photos to PC to transfer your files all at once. Otherwise, proceed to the Photos tab and select each file. When everything is chosen, click Export to PC and select your external device as the destination folder to complete the process. Okay, if I've been able to help you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription. If something didn't work out and you're stuck, check the comments. Maybe someone has solved the problem. Otherwise, I can try and help you further. I offer personal support on Fiverr and can give you independent advice. I also offer many other services. Feel free to check them out. You'll find the link in the video description. Until next time, bye.